This video is to help you get a better intuitive sense of stationarity. So what I'm doing here is I'm simulating some data that by construction is strictly stationary. And then first, here's a plot of the full 200 period series. So you can see what it looks like. And uh, to begin with, don't overthink it. Just try to look and get a big picture sense of what it looks like. So one way to think about stationarity is that if we zoom in on any smaller interval, on any subset of the full time series, it basically looks the same statistically speaking. So of course the values will be different in every period, but the same sort of features and patterns will appear. So that's what I'm going to do next. We'll start with the first 40 periods and then just keep looking at different 40 period windows. And we'll see that while the values are different, they sort of have the same qualitative look to them. So here's period one, through period 40. Um, so I'll go through these once and then I'll go through a second time and talk more specifically about what features they have in common. Um, but this is what the first 40 period looks like. This is what the next 40 periods looks like. Um, and you'll note the vertical axis is the same for all of these plots to make them comparable. Here's the next 40 periods, next 40 periods, and then the last 40 periods. So just looking at it, again, not overthinking it, we can see they all kind of look similar in some qualitative sense. Uh, so one way they look similar is that they're all sort of going up and down, but centered around zero on the vertical axis. So this one's, you know, around zero. This one stays around zero, still stays around zero. Right. No matter which 40 period interval we look at, they're always sort of coming back around zero. Uh, another thing we see is sometimes there will be a few similar values in a row. Uh, maybe we have a high value followed by another high value, but there are also points where it will jump down and then jump back up by a lot. So it's sort of in between in that sense. Um, so we see that in the first 40 periods. We also see that in the next one, right? There's some big jumps. There's also strings of very similar values. Similarly here, there's some jumps, but also some similar values all in a row. Uh, we see that again here, jumps, but also strings. And here again. Um, so Hopefully that was helpful, just giving you some visual intuition and one way to intuitively think about uh, what stationarity is.